I'm curious to see how Gina likes it and what she's gonna think of running it. Good morning, modern steaders. Nope, you can't see it, but it's 34 degrees out. Oh, it's a chilly, brisk morning this morning. I never realized how hardy sunflowers were. Gina researched it the other day because we got a bunch of sunflowers uh, right behind us that are just starting to blossom. So she wanted to see if these little frosts were gonna kill them. Like, but I, she was reading that they're hardy down to like 25, I believe. So that's good. Morning, pigs. We gotta move you. Tomorrow we're gonna move you and the chicken. It's about time, huh? You're drooling, dude. Ah. I hope it's warm in the milking room this morning. Boys coming out, he is sleeping in. Yeah, they're sleeping in this morning. All the animals have been sleeping in lately. I think that's been one of Willow's problems and why she's been so moody. I'm usually waking her up and getting her off the bunk bed to go milking. So this morning we're coming out about 10 minutes later to see if that helps. <laughs> Morning, Willow. Oh yeah, it's warmer in the milking room. I think that might help with Willow's mood. Gave him a few extra minutes this morning. Kind of let him wake up while we were in here making a little bit of extra noise. So much better this morning. I think that's what it was, guys. Ah, she didn't like getting woken up and getting brought right into the milking room. I can't say as I blame her. And she's eating more of her grain this morning too. The last few days she hasn't even been eating. She just wants out of the stand. Now we know why. There's Blossom waiting to say good morning to everybody. Good morning, girls. Buttercup. Blossom. You're all starting to get furry. Yep. It's that time of the year. Right, Hope? Go put him. I think the chickens love their automatic chicken door. They're always up. <laughs> they don't gotta wait on us. Well, uh, the nail gun yesterday kept messing up on us, guys. We've been using our boss stitch finish nailer. Since we've been using it in this project, it's been acting up. Yesterday it was really getting finicky. I was like, you know what? We got quite a bit of wood left to hang. We don't need this thing acting up. It's kind of hard on the wood a little bit more than I like. So I spent a lot of time last night trying to research and decide what nail gun to get. And we went with this DeWalt 20 volt 18 gauge brad nailer. So we're gonna see what we got. They have quite a few selection. They have the brad nailer, they have a lot of staple guns, and they had some finished nailers. I looked at, I don't know, it's probably at between Home Depot and Lowe's last night. I was probably there for about an hour. The thing I didn't like about the finished nail gun was the nails were really expensive and they didn't make them a lot. The finished nail guns were angled and most finished nail guns like this one, they're straight nails. So I couldn't find a lot of nails 
for the guns. Lowe's didn't sell any, and Home Depot had one brand. They didn't even have the DeWalt brand. So I was like, I'm not going to buy a nail gun that you can't even get nails for. So I settled on the Brad nailer. I kept going back and forth. Do I want a finished nail gun or do I want a Brad one? The difference between the two is the size of the nail. And I got to thinking, like, you know what? When we built our house, all of our trim work, I used my Brad nailer on and Brad nailed it. And I didn't use this finished nail gun because I was having the same issues. So I'm like, you know what? Let's get the Brad nail gun. We're going to be able to use it more on other projects. The finished nail gun, we're using it for projects like this. But if we're building and making cabinets, we're not going to want the finished nail gun. We're going to want a Brad nailer anyways. So I'm like, we're going to get more use out of the Brad nail gun. That's how I thought in my head. So let's take it out of the box and see what we got. I haven't opened it yet. I did charge the battery last night, but you can see, I didn't touch nothing else. I didn't even take the charger out. We have quite a few chargers, so I didn't need it. This is, I'm going to the camera over here and show you what it is. This one is the DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless. Right there's the model number. It's the kit, so it's got the nail gun, one battery, and the charger. If you're new to the channel, let me welcome you to the channel. We've been building a post and beam barn slash workshop all summer long. Right now we're in the inside of the workshop, or what will be the workshop, and we're finishing it off. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do that. And turn on notifications while you're there, and I'll let you know every time we upload a new video. And we do that five times a week. But if you're new, thank you. We've been building quite a bit this year to our homestead and adding on. So, comes with a little bag. Like a little doctor's bag. Over here, and then inside, we got the nail gun. No nails. You would think they'd give you at least one row. Luckily, I did pick up some DeWalt nails. So it comes with a two amp hour lithium battery. Right here, it's got, looks like a light. And the directions that come with it says light, left flashing light, low battery. Well, what about a right flashing light? Right flashing light, jammed nail. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like how they tell you that. And then if we have a jammed nail, we take this up and that out. And then we can get our nails out right here. Boom. So. Put that down, that locks it. Pull that up, boom, the nails come out. That's pretty cool. This will take 18 gauge brads. I think it's up to two, let's open it. Two and an eighth inches long. We've got inch and three quarter brads. Bam. It'll take brads from five eighths of an inch to two and an eighth inch long. So it's a good size selection there. One of the things I liked about it too is it had such a wide range of lengths. A lot of them you get and it's just a few nails you can put in from like say inch to two inch or. The bottom here is a lever. So one nail and then I want to say we can bump it and we can do multiple nails go ch -ch -ch. Let's see. Yep, that's pretty good. I like the nice hole it leaves. It's a small hole in the board. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. Right here. It's not very big at all. So let's see what happens if we bump the trigger and just keep the trigger pulled in. So that way it goes full auto. It's a little loud, not too bad. 
we have a trigger lock right there, so if you want to lock it. I like the belt loop hook. That's gonna come in handy. Today we're gonna to put it to the test and see how it does. I'm curious to see how Gina likes it and what she's gonna think of running it. She'll be out in a few minutes and I'm gonna be putting some more boards in. So, gonna put it to the test. We'll all try it out today. Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison and we'll see the size of the hole that it leaves behind. Let's do it right here. What a difference. So we have our finished nail gun and our Brad nail gun. You ready to try out the new nail gun? Yep. It's gonna be nice, no air compressor. No tripping. I don't like that, why does it do that? Much? That's what it does. And look how much smaller of a hole it leaves. Yeah. I guess I like the noise because I'm now ready. Right. Cool. It's just, yeah, it's different. Not a bad difference, just something to get used to. You all out of nails, maybe? No. Not working. I didn't say I have a dream. Nope. The lights are on, but nothing's blinking, so I don't know. You got plenty of power. Maybe you're too low on nails, and when you're that low, it makes you change them. I wonder if it just wants you to put more nails in. So that might be how you know. Let's see. Yep. So when you have like five or six nails left, it won't work. That answers that question. Did we go? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Breaking stuff.
That would not be good. Greg reminded me though because I remembered it and I went. Yeah, I'm not good if I whacked your head off that. I don't think I'd hear the end of that. Yeah, it wouldn't be super hard anyway, would you? What? Like, I You know it, that's it. I just want to use the nail gun. We're moving. You've been having all the fun with the nail gun today. After using the gun for, I don't know, four hours-ish, what do you think of it? I like it. Do you like it better than? I like it because it tells you or stops working when it needs new but yeah, so it runs out because before I kept looking and I'm like, oh. yeah, the other and then there's so small cheap. holes. I can see these ones, but with the other gun, with so small holes that I would could been shooting air and making a hole. I don't know. Yep. The so, other, yeah, it's not too. I don't feel like it's super heavy or anything. It's a little bit heavier than the other gun, but it's not like too heavy. But it's not a lot more, and then you don't have the hose. You don't have to right. the hose if you walk working with the stage in. If you're rolling around, you're not rolling over the hose. Mm -hmm. We were doing that quite a bit. Um, the other ones, they would sink the nails really deep, and I couldn't turn it down to not sink them so deep. And I also, I felt like if your board wasn't like... If your board was warped, it would suck it in better? Yeah, it does suck it. It doesn't suck it in like the framing one. Right. But it definitely sucks it in. It sucks because it in Because that's why I like the framing one, because it like, so it's more, I think it's more like the framing one than that. So all in all, you give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, we didn't run out of battery or anything. No, I checked it. We had only used one bar oh, out of three. That's I'm like, well, I like it until the battery runs out, and I'm not going to like yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, we did all this, and then all that side. Right. So we've done quite a bit.
get all that stuff done. I should start drinking some. It's a lot of coffee. It takes us about a week to drink that much. I don't want to stand here. I can move. It is raining. And the goats are outside. Huh? And the goats are out. They want some coffee. You girls want some coffee? It's not snowing out. That should make some good compost. Yeah. I think you need to slow down and drink in the coffee, though. That's a lot for a week. I don't think I drink enough coffee. <laughs> that must be how we get so much done. All the coffee. All the coffee. The duck ducked. <laughs> How many eggs do you think today? I'm gonna say 14. All right. Not many. The daylight's changing. Two, four, five, seven, eight wrinkles. 10, huh? 15, I see 15. 12, 14, 15. I win! What do I win? What do I win? You win 15 eggs that you get to clean, wash, and put away. You don't like that price? Uh, we're lucky enough to be able to get some coffee grinds and other compostable materials from a lo local cafe. One of the pots that really excites me about the coffee grinds. It's all organic, but there's also organic tea spices or leaves in there. I think that's pretty cool. There's a bunch of different herbs and spices that we get to add to our compost to add different nutrients to it that we wouldn't get from stuff in the homestead. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad Gina liked the nail gun. We all seem to enjoy it. Tomorrow we're going to be moving the chickens and pigs. And I don't think I've recorded much of that this year with moving the pasture pig mobile and the chickens in New York City. So tomorrow we'll make sure we capture that on video. They needed to get moved about a week ago. So we'll get her done. I was reading a quote earlier today. I thought you guys might enjoy this one. You don't have to be someone special to achieve something amazing. You just got to have a dream, believe in it, and work hard. And I'm going to add to it, believe in yourself because you can do it, guys. Uh, thanks for coming along on us on our homesteading journey as we build it a little bit at a time. Remember, it's a journey, not a race. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video.